Hey everybody, so this video is going to be a fun video and it's going to be a you know you have a chronic illness when dot dot dot. So I want to give a shout out to my friends at Spinny Strong which is a Facebook group where a bunch of us that have chronic illnesses get together and it's like we understand one another because we're all kind of in the same boat. So they helped me put together this video by giving me some suggestions of things to include, so thank you very much guys. So, you know you have a chronic illness when you like decorating your medical supplies, and this includes decorating them for the holidays such as Christmas, Easter, Halloween, they're decorated for the occasion. You're on a first name basis with a lot of the medical staff, including the receptionists at A&E. You don't even need to walk up to reception and say your name anymore, they just say take a seat. When you have a just in case bag packed in case you spontaneously end up in hospital. When you find empty tablet strips around your house, literally I find bunches of these all the time and it's a bit like where did that come from? When your consultant gives you their home number and mobile telephone number. When you know how your paramedics like their tea, because you've seen them so much. Whenever someone sees an ambulance when they're out and about, you always tend to get a phone call asking if you're okay. You have so much medication that you could really start your own pharmacy. You cannot travel light. I don't know about anybody else, but I know that whenever I travel, I have to have basically a separate bag for all of my medical stuff. You've peed in a cup so many times that you can do it with your eyes shut or the lights off and not spill a single drop. Your pharmacist no longer asks for your name, your date of birth and your address, but instead asks how your mum is. When you can pronounce and spell very complicated medical terms that even some of the medical staff struggle with. When you know the best vein that you can get blood from. Whenever someone phones your mum or your dad or whoever, they ask if you've been in hospital lately. When you watch medical dramas and you can tell if the medical terms are being used incorrectly. When you know the price of things such as x-rays and MRI scans and blood tests. Whenever you leave your house, you're always asked, have you got your phone, your keys, your purse and your medication? When you have to pass up the chance of having really cute small handbags because they're just not big enough to fit everything you need in it. When you have to arrange your bedroom around the fact that you may end up with paramedics entering it. On another note, you also kind of have to constantly keep your bedroom tidy just in case spontaneously paramedics have to appear. When a paramedic comes to your house and they say, oh, we haven't seen you in a while. When your friends always ask you for a painkiller or an anti-sickness because you always seem to have them on hand. When each part of your medical equipment has names. And finally, when you go out anywhere, you have to think about where the nearest hospital is, who will call an ambulance for you, and make sure everyone knows where your medication is. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and stick around for more. Bye!